Hello friends, welcome to my channel Data Making. In this video, I am going to discuss about uh, joint transformation. So, how to join two RDDs using the joint transformation. Okay, before going to the topic, let me minimize the recording window. Okay, what we are going to do is, we are going to write a PySpark code using the uh, join RDD transformation. So, we are going to join two RDDs. Okay, the RDD must be a key value pair RDD. Okay, so we are going to uh, use the PyCharm. Okay, to write the code and we are going to execute on the uh, the spark environment okay so uh, let me explain you the program okay i'll go to my uh, virtual machine okay so this is the uh, my program okay so this is the my 16th video on uh, pi spark 101 tutorial please go through all the videos when you get a time okay so uh, first what we are doing is we are importing a uh, uh, pi spark libraries okay packages and then this is the starting point of the program, uh, the Python program or PySpark program. Okay, so uh, so what this joint transformation is going to do is, it is going to return a RDD containing all pairs of elements which matching the key in the self and other means. So we are going to join two RDDs, right? So it is going to match based on the key. So whichever the key is matching, so it is going to return the all the elements. Okay, that is going to do the. That is what uh, the join transformation is going to do so first what i am going to do is i am going to create a spark session object okay then i am creating a i will show you in two different example okay one is uh, uh, simply creating a two different rdd in programmatically okay first create using the python object list and then convert into rdd and uh, do the join transformation okay and next time i have a two data set Okay, one is uh, order data set, another is a customer data set. I am going to create RDD and do the uh, join transformation. Okay, so let me explain you the one by uh, step by step. Okay, so first what I am going to do is I am creating a uh, orders uh, key value pair list. Okay, what this orders key value pair list is going to have is this is going to have a list. This this list contains of tuples. Okay, which means key value pair kind of thing. Okay, uh, key is the order number. You can think of the order key is the order number and the value is the order date. Okay, this is one list. I have another list which is the order detailed uh, key value per list. Okay, which contains order number and the order quantity. You can say, okay, uh, the transaction amount or whatever order quantity you can say. Sorry, order amount. Okay, so now uh, what is the uh, common uh, uh, value between these two? Which is common key, uh, key or uh, column? I can take you can say the key uh, common key is the order ID. Okay, so we are going to do uh, join between do these two uh, objects. Okay, and based on the the common uh, key is nothing but order ID. First, we will convert this uh, list into RDD using a parallelize object. Okay, then uh, we have order details key value pair list, which is which uh, which will uh, convert into RDD. Okay, order detail KV RDD key value pair RDD. This is the order key value pair RDD. Okay, so order and order detail. Okay, so now we are going to use the join transformation. There is a keyword called join. Okay, the function. So when you apply a, this is a, you can think this is a self RDD or the first RDD orders, and you are doing a join on the second RDD, which is the order detail RDD. So what is the matching key? The matching key is actually the first, the key is basically a matching a column. Okay, so it will actually match. So there is a in first RDD, we have a key as 1, 2, 3. In second RDD, I have first key as 1 occurrence, second key as 2 occurrence, and third key is basically a 4, which is does not exist in the first RDD. Okay, so basically, you will actually uh, receive uh, matching is key 1 and key 2 is a matching keys. We'll get that as a result after joining. Okay, we'll see how to do this. So basically, I'm uh, doing the join. After jo doing the join, okay, so we can apply some aggregate function. Okay, only doing a join is not sufficient. We have to do some aggregation. For example, I want to find out uh, uh, total order quantity because uh, order table as uh, say example order ID order uh, uh, RDD, orders RDD as only order ID and the date. Order detail RDD as how uh, many order based on the uh, number of items in the order uh, order you have order details. So we need to sum up uh, the order amount. That's what I want to do here. So basically, after doing the join, so you will get actually key key of all the joining pairs, right? Like key is the uh, one which is actually uh, matched, 
and you have all this uh, uh, matched uh, elements of the uh, keys okay so we are going to actually sum up that so for that what i am doing is i am taking the join rdd okay doing the map transformation iterating each element so what is the uh, the i am forming the new key value pair key is nothing but uh, whatever the order ready and the value i am interested on in the this order uh, quantity okay so the order amount you can say so uh, <coughs> order amount so how we can access it basically zeroth element is a key and the first element is the actually a tuple because you see here this is a key uh, this, this is the key value pair which in turn has a key and the value as again key value pair right so we need to access the uh, <coughs> the second element so first element is actually the uh, order date we don't need the order date so order amount is the one which i uh, uh, interested so i'm just giving here uh, i'm just giving this uh, uh, the element of one first position and in that particular uh, um, tuple the first position okay so if you access this you will have a key as uh, uh, your order id and value as the order amount okay then you can apply the reduce by transformation what it is going to do it is going to group based on the key and uh, you can do the uh, the function uh, which which can you can do the aggregate basically i'm going to do the sum right so i'll just uh, do this uh, anonymous function take each element each value which is the amount uh, order amount and sum up okay do the sum operation so you will get the each key what is this uh, each uh, order id what is the sum of the uh, order amount that's what you will get it here okay same example okay yeah, means uh, same join transformation i actually done on the different data set so in this data set what i am going to do is so i have two data set one is the customer uh, details okay i can say customer table data and another is the order table data okay which is of a csv file okay so i will show you the data set which i am using it okay so this is the customer data set which has customer id as a first column customer name gender and country okay the second data set is the uh, order uh, data set which is going to have a order number okay order id item code order quantity and unit price and customer id and order date what i am going to do is i am going to actually match these two data set based on the customer id as a key okay so based on the customer id i will do the join and i will sum up the uh, the order amount okay so actually so while actually uh, i will i will tell you how to do this okay so basically this is a data set i want to show you so first what we are doing is we are reading the, we, so this is the path of the file okay so first we de, re, we read the uh, the file the order customers uh, data set you guess the customer rdd okay so in this, this because this is a csv file uh, this csv file uh, some csv might, might have a header column uh, means header uh, uh, row some uh, uh, csv files may not have based on the uh, the uh, the system which is generating the csv file in this uh, file i have the header so i just want to ignore the header so what i am doing is i am applying the filter transformation okay so where i am actually matching this uh, the header all the columns okay this will be your first line actually so i will uh, i am not equal to, i am taking only the rows which is not having this uh, header so basically the first row will be ignored in this customer rdd then what i am going to do i have to form the key value pair then only i can apply the join transformation right what is the key value pair i have to form from the customer rdd i have to take key as a customer uh, id and the value you can consider any column so i am just i am going to consider uh, country so customer id is the key and the value is the uh, country in the first rdd which is a customer rdd now next same step we are going to do the similar step we are going to do the for orders so for the orders you just uh, take the uh, using the file path uh, this is a text file so use the text file uh, function to read it so you will get the rdd okay so once you get the orders rdd similarly we are going to ignore the first row which is the header row okay using the filter transformation okay so once you apply this filter transformation you get the rdds of all the items except the first row okay so again we are going to form the key value pair so basically in the first rdd we prepared customer id as a key value as a country so in this rdd 
we need to form the again key value pair where key is the customer id and the value is the order amount so how do you find out the order amount so we have the quantity column as well as a unit price we just multiply to the uh, two columns means two field you will get the uh, order amount so what i am doing is this is the uh, when i split with comma the fourth position is a customer id that i am taking as a key okay here you can see this this is considered for uh, key which is the customer id and then we have to multiply the uh, order quantity and the unit price so that is that is in the second position so yeah, i just take the second position after splitting which is the order quantity okay it is integer i just convert into integer because this is a string uh, uh, value you get in the entire row is a string so when you convert you can you will get the string so you convert into integer okay so then again in the second uh, third position is having a unit price you convert it into float because it has a decimal point okay you multiply that then what you get is a key value pair key is the customer id and value as the, the order amount okay that is what you get it in the order sorted so now we have two rdd one is customer rdd another is order sorted customer rdd as customer id comma country second rdd which is order rdd which contains customer id and the order amount so you can do the join operation so it's going to do the match the key which is customer id and return use the matching values for the keys okay uh, <coughs> list of elements on the particular keys okay so now again i want to do the aggregation same uh, um, sum up i want to sum up the um, order amount based on the customer id because we have a, uh, did the join based on the customer id so so we are going to do the same so this is join id apply the map transformation and uh, take key as uh, customer id value as the order amount because you because when you do the join you get the uh, key as the customer id value as again tuple of uh, the customer order amount comma the country uh, sorry uh, country comma order amount so i am interested in the order amount i just form this key value pair again apply the reduce by uh, transformation so basically it will going to group the based on the key and do the uh, uh, the aggregation basically over the sum so uh, when you do this you get the each customer how many transaction amount he made that he is going to get it we are going to get it so basically by default it is when you use a join it is a self in the inner join okay so when you when you use the join within two oddities by default it is a inner join if you want to apply a outer joins there are other functions right outer join left outer join full outer join you can do this you can do this using the same uh, uh, similar approach okay so if you have any doubt please post to, uh, post on my videos uh, section i will help you that so let me run this program and i'll show you the result okay so it is going to create the spark session object so first there are two example in the first example we have orders and order details so between those two rdds we are going to do the join operation okay and the second example from our customers with customer data set we are doing the uh, orders data set join so here so basically uh, after join you got a key and value as the uh, tuple of uh, the matched uh, uh, elements okay for in the first uh, say in this the matching is uh, between these two uh, data uh, already as a two uh, key uh, uh, the key uh, two as a uh, matching key in the second rdd and one also but three and four does not have matching so that's what you get for two you got the one element and second element for one only one so then we did the aggregation using the reduce by key so for second uh, key we it sum up 15.3 and 10 it become 25.3 this is only one element for key one so it got uh, 2.5 similarly uh, are the other set as a data set right customer based on the customer id it did the join okay after that we based on the customer uh, id we we sum up the uh, the order amount okay that's what it is showing here so this is how you need to apply the uh, <coughs> join transformation on two rdds so that rdd should contain a key value pair i hope this uh, example is helpful to you uh, please uh, uh, 
subscribe my video and uh, uh, post your queries uh, on my uh, description section or the comment section of my video thank you so much friends see you on the next video